Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This video is going to be a little, little bit different compared to the content that I usually upload. And it is a soft Valentine's Day glam. Um, I created a video like this last year, I believe. And it, last year was kind of like a pink look. This year I decided to go with a totally different look which is more like the softer, like something you can use like maybe every day. If not, you guys can use it during Valentine's Day. But I did try to stay away from the normal colors that are usually used during Valentine's Day, which is like pink and purple and red. And I decided to go with this right here. So if you guys want to go ahead and see how I created this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so let's start off with primer. With the primer, I'm going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've been using this one for maybe half a year and I really like it. So we're going to stick with this one. I just go ahead and put one pump on the finger. Yeah, yeah, I just kind of glue it out. And I just kind of put it all over my face and then just kind of work it in my skin. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Born This Way, the Too Faced one. This has been like my all time favorite and I have been very, very, very loyal to this one for like maybe about like six years if I'm not mistaken. So literally like one of my best foundations and one of my favorite foundations. I'm gonna grab a Dempt Beauty sponge, which these are from my lash brand, and they are super soft, like super, super soft. I do a foundation, I grab like my little mirror J-Love lashes available online, and I use this one so I can kind of just see, even though like I have the camera right here, it's still not the same. Put one pump here, one there, one there, and one on the chin. The foundation is a medium to full coverage foundation. I kind of stick to the light to medium, but some of the ones that I do have are medium to full, just like the one that I have on right now. I do have like smile lines, and I, I don't know if that's because like I have like really big cheeks, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. I recently just got this one and I really like it. Um, it is this one right here. I used to go ahead and use the Laura Mercier, I believe. And I was literally using that like for years. For concealer, I'm not that bougie. I do stick with the e.l.f. concealer, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Beige. My foundation is actually in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> concealer is the same shade as a foundation and I know usually it's supposed to be like a little bit brighter but I tend to stick to this one because it's not as bright but you can still tell the difference that there's a little bit of concealer on there so with the concealer I literally just put like three dots like that and one little dot on the bottom Coming down from here, I just go ahead and I grab like a little fan and I kind of just dry it really, really quick. No más le doy una pasadita. I grab just a little, this one's an elf sponge too. It's, I think, their camo concealer one, so it's specifically made for that. And I just go in there and I blend all the concealer. As you can see, they're still like, it's not super bright, but todavía you can tell that my eyes aren't like super, super dark on the bottom because your girl has ojeras. Now with the same brush that I ended up doing the smile lines, I'm gonna go back into my powder and do the same thing. Just go ahead and put that on the bottom. For my eyes, I don't really like like baking it, like dejándolo right there. So I kind of press it in and then I just just off like the rest. Le doy all the face. Like I don't dip my brush back into the setting powder, but with whatever I have on the brush, I just end up kind of brushing like my whole face. And now with the KKW stick that I still have from Christmas, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lightly contour my face. I wouldn't say like heavily contour. 
there's two shades on the KKW stick, which is the medium one and the medium two. So we're gonna go in with the medium two. Y lo que yo siempre hago, I just go ahead and place it like on top of my forehead. Allí. I do end up putting some kind of like to lift my ojos a little bit right on the cheeks or say bottom of the cheeks right I know it looks scary right now but I promise it is not gonna look like this I almost forgot my cheeks just like that just put it on the side and then we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything out with the same sponge that I used to do the concealer but we're gonna flip it and use the other side So I'm gonna try to switch it up on this one and not create like your typical like pink Valentine's Day look, the butter bronzer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly bronze my face on the areas that I feel that needs that bronzing, just retocando lo que acabo de tocar. We're gonna go to the brows. I hardly ever fill my brows or anything. I do get my brows laminated, so I do like that natural look that it kind of stays with. But for the sake of today, we are gonna go ahead and just kind of lightly fill in our eyebrows, just like having them just a tad bit darker. Now that we're done lightly filling in the eyebrows, we're gonna go ahead and move on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and then afterwards I like adding the blush just to like finish off the look. So let's go ahead and get started on a soft glam Valentine's Day look. For this Valentine's Day look, we're gonna use the Tres Luce uh, makeup palette. This is La Flor de Mexico. The cool thing like about this palette is that tiene el espejo, right? But you can take the mirror off and you can just have it like that, which I think is very cool. But since we are gonna be using that one, um, as you guys can tell, it doesn't really have like hot pinks or like, you know, those type of pinks. So we're gonna go for a different type of a Valentine's Day soft glam look. And I think I'm gonna stick with like browns and like maybe like a light pink, kind of like a pink shimmer because there's one on here that looks very, very pretty and I think that's the color that I'm gonna stick with. A little bit of concealer on my hand, which it's right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dab my little sponge in it and just go ahead and put it on top of my eyelid. Whenever I do have lash extensions, it's very rare whenever I do eyeshadow, but we're doing eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Morning Glory, which is this pretty color, and we're just gonna go ahead and use that all over the eyelids. I usually like tapping the eyeshadow all around. Evie, I just end up working it into my eyeballs. And with that color, we're gonna go ahead and go in with Betunia, which is this other, like I guess you can say brownish slash orange color. So también, I'm just gonna go ahead and work it into kind of half of the eye. Like I'm just not gonna put it like in my inner corner type of thing. And now that I'm doing this video, I just realized I really need to get my eyebrows done because I have a bunch of little pelitos all over. I'm going go in with, I believe it's Fasi Flor, which is this like brownish type of color. And then they have one that's called Chocolate Cosmos. And I feel like I'm just gonna tap three times and one, two, three. Go ahead and tap off the rest. And this one I'm just gonna kind of work in just like the outer corners instead of up here in the inner corners because I am gonna add like that pink color. So with this one, I'm just kind of focusing on the outside. So far, this is where we're at. And I'm still gonna go ahead and add, I think I'm gonna add like this color called the Lady Slipper, y luego otra que se dice Dragon Fruit, y luego, which the Dragon Fruit's like a little shimmer. I'm going with a flat brush, I'm gonna tap it off, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add the color into like the inner. So with our pinkies, we're gonna go in there and grab dragon fruit. We're gonna grab Flor de Mayo. 
y de nuevo I just kind of want to go in there and make sure that I actually have them on my finger and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that shimmer color same thing with the other eye rock on just kidding and boom we're done just kidding I still need to go ahead and do like the little water line and then I am also gonna go ahead and put my blush and then do my hair and now I'm gonna go into the same makeup palette and I'm gonna go in with morning glory which is the first um, eyeshadow that we ended up using and I'm just gonna go ahead and get like a little bit like on the bottom of my waterline I think I want to add another color so there's one called the birds of paraiso and it's a very nice shimmery shade and as you can tell it gives it more like the little like reflection so I'm gonna go ahead and add that on my eyelid too. So for blush, I do have two. This one's the Tres Luce and is in the shade Date Night. And this is my all-time favorite if you guys have watched any of my makeup videos, which I think there's only like two on my channel. Um, the MAC one it has been my favorite since I can remember. I'm gonna go in with the MAC one, which is in Warm Soul. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my blush where I always put it at whenever I do my makeup so I do kind of tend to drag it up a little bit and I don't like I kind of just dab it into my skin this is the color for the Tres Luce one and I just literally just kind of put a brush in there I tap it y nomás me lo pongo like in the beginning of my cheeks and just like that so let me give you guys a little close up on the actual eyes so you guys can go ahead and see like the colors because I'm not quite sure how they look from right now where I have the camera positioned. I'm just going to go ahead and get the camera and show you guys a little close up of the eye look. You guys already seen the makeup look up close the eyeshadow especially let me go ahead and get ready and by getting ready I need to just finish up my hair and change so you guys can actually see like the actual final look of this and I would like for you guys to let me know how you guys like it but that is going to conclude our video for today so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this look or you guys like any of my content go ahead and subscribe and I will go ahead and see you guys next week with another video